Hello guys and welcome back to the last class of our course about the complete introduction to quantum computing. So we talked about many many things in this course and basically uh, until now you guys should have a basic understanding of what exactly is quantum computing. So what, I'm, what I want to do right now is pretty simple. I just want to do a quick summary and talk about uh, basically what's next and what you can do with all this knowledge that you have. Um, so basically in this course we talked about plenty of things. So first of all we talked about all the mathematical concepts. So we talked about linear algebra, we talked about uh, quantum superposition, quantum entanglement. Uh, we talked also about uh, the qubit, what exactly is a qubit, how it works. Um, and different qubit calculations. We also talked about uh, algorithms, so basically different uh, quantum algorithms as well. So I explained how each of those algorithms work. And uh, finally, we talked about uh, Microsoft Q. And uh, we did some exercises with Microsoft Q, which is the programming language uh, for quantum computing. So if you guys are at this stage of the course, I'm pretty sure that you have completed the whole course. So um, I just hope that you guys have liked this course. Once again, here my goal was to make an introduction uh, to the topic. I didn't want uh, to go too much in depth. Uh, but once again, uh, my goal here was simply to introduce you to this topic. I'm not going to lie if you guys want to go in depth in this topic. It's uh, not easy. Uh, each of the concepts that I covered in five minutes can take hours and hours and hours to understand properly and to be able to work with. So once again, right now you have an introduction and you know uh, pretty much what exactly is quantum computing, where quantum computing is at right now in the world. And uh, basically this was the goal of this course. Um, right now, what's next? So basically if you guys really liked and enjoyed quantum computing or uh, this course about quantum computing, you like the topic and stuff. So the next thing for you guys would be taking a more advanced quantum computing course. Um, so if you want to just learn by yourself, uh, there, there, well, there is not that much resources that exist. That's the problem because this topic is not uh, very, very known. And uh, this is a pretty new topic that uh, that is right now that that comes right now, and that's uh, pretty much the problem. So it's pretty hard to learn more advanced uh, quantum computing things. Um, but uh, some universities offers interesting quantum computing courses. So if you are someone who likes to learn just for the purpose of learning, there are some universities that offers this topic. Um, also, there is a lot of researches that are made in quantum computing. Um, and in the programming field, you can learn more about uh, Microsoft Q, which is an amazing programming language, especially if you guys want to continue with quantum computing. Uh, besides of that, I'd like to thank you all for taking this class. Once again, I was really happy to be your teacher for the past uh, few hours. Um, the course was probably complicated for you guys to understand, but for me it was also complicated to make because once again, as I said, this topic is uh, pretty complicated. And uh, to explain it as easy as possible, well, to, to explain a concept that takes hours to understand in 10 minutes, it's not always easy, but I did it and I'm pretty proud of it. And I'm, I hope that you guys uh, liked the way that it was presented and that you guys have, I, by the end of this course, learned something new. Um, so if you want to check out my other courses and you like my style of teaching, uh, I have a few of them that are right now online, so you can check them out. Um, they're all pretty interesting and about different topics. Uh, besides of that, thanks again for being part of uh, this amazing adventure and I hope to see you in another of my classes.